So understand, when you look at the car, you see the car is like this. It's on a slope. So this side, right here, this part of the ground is higher up to the car. So if it's higher up to the door, that means that the dog jumps out on this side, it's gonna be less demand on her tissues because the jump is shorter. Over here, the slope is going down. So if I were to let my dog out right here, it's farther of a jump, and the farther jump, it's gonna be more demand on her tissues as her body has to accept that force. So, through longevity of life, it's going to make sense for the dog to jump where the ground is closer. Small things add up, and over and over and over again can save your dog a couple years on her joints before she starts limping, and that's the goal. So right now I'm gonna put my dog in the car, We're gonna go to Valley Verde Parky? You wanna go to Valley Verde Parky, Ash? Watch as I do this. You wanna go to the park, Ash? Okay, Ash, right here. Sit, sit, stay. You see, she's gonna get some momentum as she runs into the car. Stay. Go on. You see those three steps right there? One, two, jump. Rather than just opening the door and she's sitting right there and she's gonna jump up. She might even not get enough oomph and might fall back and hurt herself, which is what we don't want. Come on, buddy! Come on, Come on. <laughs> That's all I got for you today. Hope you learned something, and I will see you soon. Have a great day, and give your dog a kiss for me, because I love all of them. Bye-bye.